Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. For this video showcase we're going to be having a look at the 1986 Autobot Triple Changer Sandstorm. Now Sandstorm is a fantastic figure purely because again for the fact that he can change into two alternate modes and they are vastly different from each other. We have his robot mode which you can see on the left, his helicopter mode on the right and inside the box is his dune buggy mode but I'll go into more detail with the dune buggy mode in a second. As I mentioned he came out in 1986 and he was one of the three Autobot triple changes. What we'll do then, we'll have a look at the robot mode first and foremost. The robot mode is quite blocky, but I still think it looks very, very good to be fair. If you're looking to get one yourself, there's a few things, as I say, to keep an eye out for. First and foremost is the legs. As I say, a lot of these, they lose the ability to hold themselves up. So you might see some on display where it doesn't look like they've got the legs and that's just because they just keep sliding down. That's a big problem. I've got that with a few of mine, to be fair. So be aware of that. The other thing as well to be aware of is the rotor blades. Obviously these get chewed up, damaged, so you're looking for nice, neat rotor blades. And again, I'll go into more detail when I show you in the buggy mode, but if you have a quick look through the bubble there, you can see there's a lot of chrome. So if you're looking to display one yourself, that's exactly what you're looking for to be nice and shiny. So again, let's look at the robot. Again, nice robot mode, not much articulation, but again, that's due to the fact that it turned into two other things. If you turn it to the side, again, if you're looking for display purposes, you probably want the wheels to be nice and shiny. And as I say, the fact that it holds itself up in position. As I say, that will probably fall over because of the carpet, but there we go. So let's have a quick look at the helicopter mode as well then. This is quite a cool mode, to be fair. You can see the blades turn around, no problems whatsoever. Um, and a lot of the car, in effect, a lot of the robot is disguised as well inside that helicopter. So that's a really, really good alt mode there. I'm going to have a quick look at the box while I'm here, if I move him out of the way. What we've got here is what's known as the Canadian poster box. It's Canadian just because obviously the language, but the poster box is here, this sign there. And that means obviously that it came with the glow in the dark mini poster. I'm going to turn it round whilst we're here. And if we spin it round, it's 1986. So we've got the Metroplex and Triptycon battle scenes there. That's an exact the same picture, obviously it's just in a different language. And that's really cool as well. I'm going to spin that back. And before we have a look at the final mode, I've just found this that came inside the box as well. And this is a Canadian poster checklist. So it's got all the figures that are available there. And again, when I come back after transforming him, I'm going to turn it around to the yeah, other I've now side. got him in his third mode, so his other alt one, the June buggy. And as I mentioned earlier about the chrome, you can definitely see that, as I say, if you're looking to display in that mode, you need that to be shiny. It does have a tendency, obviously, to get the chrome fade, the same as in the wheels. The other thing that I didn't mention, because we couldn't see it on that side, was the small propeller. So again, you need to be aware of that. But overall, I think of the fact, as I say, the two alternate modes are so vastly different. They've managed, you know, to completely disguise the fact that that's a helicopter. And I like the colour scheme, obviously goes with the name, Sandstorm, with the oranges and the yellow. And the different shades, as I say, of the orange, it just looks really, really good. He was definitely a very, very cool toy. So, as promised, before we finish, let's have a quick look at the rest of this checklist. So, as I say, you've got the other toys that were all available at the time. And there's the checklist right at the end, which, obviously, you can tick off as you manage to get a hold of them. So... As I say, 1986, Triple Changer Sandstorm, very popular, been re-released under the Generations line as well. Hope you enjoyed looking at him. Take care. 